So first I'm just going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and putting that across my eyes and setting it with a little bit of translucent powder just to avoid any creasing whatsoever. Now I'm taking the Violet Voss Pro Palette. I'm taking the color Hashtag. It's like a nice orangey sort of color. You know I love my warm tones. If you know me, you know that I love my warm tones. So I'm just taking that through my crease. God, I haven't said that in a while. met someone at the festival the other day and they came up to me and they were like, through my crease. And I was like, ah! Anyway, um, then I'm taking the other light brown color. That I'm kind of going into the cool tones now and just putting that throughout my crease as well. I want this to be kind of like an easy tutorial to follow. Like I don't want it to be too intense. So then I'm just taking that other darker color and putting that on the outer V and kind of blending that out as well. And just defining that a little bit more and blending it all together. And then just going in with a little bit more of that dark color and just blending that a little bit. Now moving on to my lid color, I'm going to be taking the shade called Toffee, which is this gold color. And I did spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm just applying that across my lid. Um, now the lighting does go a little bit weird here. Just excuse that, please. And so I'm just spreading that across my lid and then just going with that other little brush to make sure there's no harsh lines and I'm kind of just blending out that gold eye shadow. Now we're back on to the lash line. Now I was going to do wing liner but I decided not to. So I just took the black color from the Huda Beauty palette and kind of just smudged it into my lash line and then took a smaller brush and kind of blended it out a little bit I guess. I don't really know. Um, just so there's something for the lash band to hide in because I like putting that down. Anyway, moving on to the face, I'm going in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm putting that all over my face. And for foundation, we're using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade 3.0 because I'm not fake tan at the moment. Yes, this is a very yellow undertone foundation, but it does oxidize a lot, um, as you will notice throughout the whole video. You guys know I love my yellow undertones because I'm counteracting the pink on my face. So I'm not going to use a pink undertone foundation because I don't think it looks good on me. Um, and by the end of it, when I'm all contoured and bronzed and highlighted and concealed, it all comes together in the end. So I'm not really fussed. So I'm just putting that all across my forehead and then going in with my Real Techniques sponge and making sure that's all blended out into my hairline because my hair is pink. So I don't want to get too much in my hair. You know what I'm talking about? Now, going back in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light, I'm just putting that on my nose bridge, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin just to conceal a little bit more and bring some light back to the face, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, this concealer is so amazing. If you guys haven't tried it, it's honestly incredible. It's so, so good. It's just so thick. Like, if you're a thick coverage sort of girl or guy, you need this in your life. It's literally so good. Some people don't like it because it is too thick, but I'm all about that thick as fuck concealer and I love it so much. Now just taking my sponge again and blending that out to absolute perfection. As you guys can see, it blends out so easily and so seamlessly. It's not patchy. It basically sets itself. You don't even need to set this concealer, but of course I would anyway. Um, so yeah. Just blending that all into the side of my nose. And my nose does kind of get lost in concealer because I always put a lot on. So I do contour that a little bit afterwards. I am just baking underneath my eyes with the Cody Espun powder. And I'm just generously packing that on, as you can see, underneath both eyes. And then I do bake the sides of my nose a little bit too, just because I feel like foundation kind of falls off there sometimes during the day. So I like to just make sure it's fully set in place. Now, taking the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder. I know it's a new year and I'm still using this. I know. I know. Hopefully I'll find something that's on the same level but a different brand so I can change it up a little bit for everyone. But I'm just dusting that all over my face to set the rest of my foundation. So it looks good and it lasts all day. Now, moving on to contour. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It's milk chocolate soleil, so it's very, very good for the skin color that I have at the moment because I'm not tan, so it's... The perfect cool tone, not too much, not too orange, although I do love my orange contour when I am very pale, but change it up a little bit, <laughs> you know, and just, you know, bronzing up my forehead, my cheekbones, underneath my jawline, and prepping that all ready for contouring. I like to contour after I bronze because the more powder you put down, the better your contour is going to blend, and my contour is always a little bit darker, so going from light to dark is always good. It's kind of like eyeshadow when you go from your transition to your black. You wouldn't start off with your black and then and then end with your transition. Do you know what I mean? 
So I'm just contouring the sides of my nose a little bit with a little tiny cute brush and a little bit under my bottom lip to give the appearance of a bigger lip. Not that I need that anyway. Let's move on. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit to Contour today. I'm just taking the two cool tone sort of shades. I'm avoiding the orange one that I always kind of use because I don't really want to turn myself orange for a change, you know? And just contouring, like, my temples. You know what? I actually learned the other day. Your temples aren't meant to be contoured because there's no actual natural contour there, apparently. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm not a pro. Um, now we're finished on... Whoa. I don't know what... Now we're finished on... <laughs> Now we're finished on oh I can't even talk. Now I finished under oh now we're finishing off underneath my eyes with a bit of hashtag and then the other brown colour and then the really dark brown colour and then I'm just kind of smudging that down and blending it all together. My voiceovers are so raw. I love it. I freaking love it. So just blending that all together to make it look nice and sexual and you know a little flat shader brush up in there. Now we're just dusting off all that bakage because we don't want to leave that there because it would get yucky so I'm just dusting all of that off before going in with some Too Faced Better Than Dick Mascara oh my god guys I love this mascara just look at it watch ready three two one amazing done boom love 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 and for my bottom lashes I'm just using the MAC extended play giga black lash because it's the best for bottom lashes if you guys don't have this you need to invest in it because it's fucking amazing okay moving on to lashes these are the Huda Beauty in the style Sasha number 11 and yeah, the lighting was a little bit fucked up there and it all worked out in the end. So I'm just sticking that eyelash on with the House of Lashes Black Lash Glue and I obviously got it there. So what I like to do is I just wait until it dries and then I just scratch it off with a spoolie because that's the best way to do it. Now moving on to blush, this is the Hot Mama Blush from The Balm. I don't know why I'm using this brush to apply it because that's all I had that was clean. So, you know, work with what you've got. That's what I like to say, work with what you've got. So I'm just brushing that over my cheeks. And then for my waterline today, I'm just using the Tarte Inner Rim Liner to keep my eyes open rather than sticking a black color in there. I wanted to keep this quite not too dramatic. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just putting that in there. And now for my highlight, this is Jeffree Star Ice Cold. But before that, I'm just fixing, I'm fixing my face with a little bit of Fix Plus. Okay, Michael, not a problem. And I'm kind of just blending that in now. This is probably a little bit too light looking over this footage um, for me with this skin color. I should have gone for a more champagne color, but you know, you learn as you go. I'm not a pro. I'm self-taught for anyone who's asking, so I'm not, you know, the best. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't really know my shit all that well. I just kind of slap it on and hope for the best. Um, and then I'm putting that on the inner corners of my eyes, my nose bridge, Cupid's blow. Cupid's Blow. Okay, that's it. Cupid's Blow. That's a new one. Thank you so much. Let's leave that in the comments. Now for my lips, let's do Celebrity Skin by J Star Cosmetics. Haven't used this in a hot minute. And then just over the top, I'm putting some Dose of Colors Sand and blending that together with my finger to get the perfect nude color because I think it's just stunning. And just applying a little bit more. Now to set my face today, I'm just using the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray, the Lavender One. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. See ya. Ew. <laughs> Bye, guys.